Well, the state may have no place in the bedrooms of the nation, but it seems Canadians don't want the government in their kitchens either. House of Commons set to debate on an NDP private member's bill that, if passed, would force food producers to reduce sodium levels. Our own Sun News pollster, David Coletta, joins us now to tell us what we are hearing from Canadians. Good morning, David. Let's talk a little bit about this poll and how you came to the numbers. Um, what did you find? Well, what we did, Alex, uh, last month is we asked Canadians to, to, to pick between two statements. And we told them that there's a debate going on about sodium content, calories and fat, and asked them, you know, what comes closest to their view. And what we found was that a majority of Canadians, um, you know, don't want or, or don't see the value of government getting too involved in regulating, for example, the level of sodium that is in food. In fact, six in ten Canadians said, um, you know, their view came closer to the idea that governments may sometimes make things worse and that people like themselves can make their own choices. Only 40% uh, said that, that, you know, they thought government re regulations like regulating the amount of sodium in, in food protect people like them. So, um, you know, it's not a slam dunk for either side, but what, what our research shows is that a majority of Canadians, um, uh, and, and quite a large majority, don't really think it's necessary for government to step into this particular area and start regulating with, with sodium content in, in a whole bunch of foods. All right, so how did the numbers compare then across the country? Well, if we look at, for example, um, by province, as you said, um, what's interesting is that, that every province outside of Quebec overwhelmingly sided with the, with the view that they didn't want government getting involved in their lives on, on this particular issue. Only in Quebec did we see a majority say, actually, you know, government has a role. And that, that makes sense if you look at, you know, the history and the ideology of, 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 of Quebecers compared to the rest of Canadians. They're far more statist, they're far more willing to let the government and the state get involved in their lives. But outside of Quebec, large majorities in Ontario and Alberta and British Columbia um, basically, um, you know, agree that, that government shouldn't be doing these types of things. And this private member's bill being brought forward by Libby Davies and, and the New Democrats um, really doesn't strike a chord with that many Canadians. There is a core for them um, in their support, but, it, but it's not that broad and not that deep. All right, so let's talk about who is on board with, uh, I guess, this private member's bill. All the NDP party members? Anyone yeah. on the other side? Yeah, well, well, that's what's interesting. And, you know, the New Democrats are proposing this, but they aren't um, that supportive of it. If you look at support across the political spectrum, I don't think it's a surprise that Conservative Party supporters would be most against something like this. They're, they're less, least likely to say that, you know, government does a good job of protecting people like them. But interestingly, a majority of New Democrats you know, don't think government should be getting involved in this type of thing. So I think what this shows overall is that Canadians, you know, they want their government to step in and protect and the food supply in terms of safety. We saw that with, with the outbreak in Alberta um, in the, the meatpacking plants. But on the other hand, you know, Canadians also recognize that, that they themselves um, have the responsibility to make the right choices when it comes to their food. They don't want government stepping in because it often costs money, it costs jobs, and it forces industry, um, you know, who, who have a stake in this, obviously, um, to, to go into things like costly research and figure out how to make those foods taste as good as they do without mm -hmm. that sodium content. Right, but uh, sodium consumption is high in this country, so should we not have some kind of national strategy? Well, that's, that's what the debate's all about, and I think, um, you know, the, the food industry that, that sponsored this, this survey, they would argue that, um, you know, they are taking steps to do this. The question is, should government step in and force them to do it? Um, and, and, and I think what we, what we know already is that, you know, consumption, consumption might be high, but relative to other countries, Canadians are actually quite lower um, when you look at uh, the World Health Organization statistics. Hmm. Okay, David. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. He's David Coletto, CEO of Abacus Data. So this is the topic of our daily web poll. The NDP private members' bill to regulate sodium content and packaged food goes to second reading in Parliament this week. Who should determine how much salt we eat? A consumer or the government? Go to sunnewsnetwork.ca to cast your vote.